Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids. For today's supplies, you're going to need three straws, plastic straws. You're going to need three assorted plain colored yarn. And then we're going to use multiple color of yarn. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You can use a craft needle, um, needle to thread the yarn inside the straw. And you're going to need some scotch tape to hold your straws down. For today's Crafty Kids, we are making a straw weaving bracelet or you can do a book marker. So I'm going to demonstrate how to put it together. You're going to get three straws and you're going to thread the yarn through the straws and then you're going to put them together and we're going to go ahead and tape the ends so your straws don't move around. Okay, once we got those all taped in, the strings at the end, we're going to go ahead and tie a knot so they don't slip out of the straw. Okay, I would put a little bit of length at the end because if you want to strap the um, bracelet around your wrist, you'll have extra yarn. So you're going to go ahead and leave. You're going to tape your straws on the table and you're going to go ahead. That way it doesn't move around. Okay. This part you don't have to worry about. Um, you don't need to tape it because we're going to um, string the yarn between the straws. So you're going to go ahead and take a pretty long length of your straw and you're going to go ahead and we're going to tie the straw around the first straw. First straw. Then this we can always tape it up so it won't be in the way too. So you got it. Uh, two, I made two knots. Okay, we are going to basically go under, over, under, over. So the straw is going to go under the purple one. And then it's going to go over the blue. And then you're going to go under the blue. And then on top of the purple and under the red. So once we got that, you're going to go ahead and push it all the way to the end. Um, don't make it so tight because we are going to pull, once we complete the, um, complete weaving of the bracelet we're going to um, remove the yarn by pulling it off the straw so don't make it too tight so you're going to go over the red under the purple and it's going to be so under the red over the purple and wait, we just made a knot to her. Okay. So over the red, under the purple, and over the blue. So you're going to repeat under, over, under, over. I'm going to move my straw kind of sideways because it's. Let's do it this way. <clears throat> That was a little bit better. Okay. So, under the purple, over the blue. Then, under the blue, over the purple, and under the red. So, be careful when you're doing the weaving that these don't get tangled up at the end. 
So you're going to repeat the process over and over. So we're going to keep doing that all the way done while we're done. And it's going to come out <clears throat> like this here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and finish it up. Let me do one more and then I'll show you how to tie it at the end. So you're going to go under just the first, the last straw. Then you're going to go ahead and tie a knot. Okay, you're going to go ahead and do another one on top. Go around, put the thread underneath, and pull it to the end. So we format a knot there. Okay, once you're done, <clears throat> You're going to go ahead and take your tape off. See these are already tied down. Tie the side. Okay. I'm going to leave that for now because I don't want to cut it off and then the knot coming unloose. So I'll show you that also. From here, we're going to pull. You're going to slowly pull your weaving to the end, and we're going to slide it off the straw. So this is going to take patience, and um, don't pull too hard. Okay, so pull. So there's your knot is tied here. Pull it. So a little at a time, just keep pulling it down. That's why I mentioned don't um, tie your yarn to the um, straws too tight. That way if you make it kind of a little bit loose, it's a little easier to pull it off. So you're gradually pulling the straw. Right? So since it's almost off, we're going to go ahead and untie this part. So. You're going to go ahead and pull your straws out one at a time. Be careful. <clears throat> if you notice, it kind of separated. So go ahead and pull your yarn at the end. And we're going to go ahead and pull the last straw out. At the end here, we're going to go ahead and tie it. We're going to make another knot so that way it doesn't come apart at the end. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this one off. Okay. If you have some pony beads, you can um, put some pony beads at the end here. And I'm um, going to go ahead and tie a knot on this side at the end. So you got two knots at the end. And then you can put some pony beads at the end and go ahead and have somebody tie, help you tie a knot and that would be a bracelet. Or if not, you can cut it shorter and then put some nice pony beads all the way down and use it as a bookmarker. You can put it in between the book here and save your page. Thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids. Please visit our website and get some ideas of some of the crafts I did. Also, pick up your craft kit if you would like to request for one. You can call us or go to our website. Um, once you complete your craft, post it at the bottom in the comment section. Again, I'm Henrietta and thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids.